waiting for Ross to show up. We're gonna fill the kettle, start getting it heated up. We're adding 7.62 gallons of water to the kettle. Set that and then just turn the heat on. We'll wait for Ross and then we'll start grinding grains and get into this brew day. So it's the beginning of the brew day. What you doing, Ross? We'll brew it some beer. Gee whiz, Evan. We're going to get our yeast out of the fridge and <laughs> right. get it up to room temp before we pitch it. Okay, fella? Awesome. Yeah, let's see what's in the fridge. Look at that. Sizzling steaks and creamy cakes. Let's get your pitch. Yeah. WLP. California Ale Yeast. WLP 001. 001. Original issue. It'll be pretty clean. No, Real clean. going to ferment it a little lower. Try and keep those pretty esters at bay. Yeah, we're Love looking for malts. smoke for malt. Yes. This is grain that we're dealing with here. D Willikers! Alright, Ross. Alright, Emmett. We're, we're back. We're back, man. It's been a minute. How are you doing? Good. New office, new yeah, space. New digs. The house looks great. It's getting there. Mm hmm. What are we doing? Uh, smoke porter. Smoke porter. That Fall is in the air. Falls in the air. Yeah. We kind of inspired it off the Alaskan. Uh, smoke porter. Yeah, I've never had it. Did a bunch of research and reading on it. Should be a decent amount of smoke in here um, and nice dark malt. So um, I don't know. It's a porter. Yeah, dark malts. Right on. Dark and smoky. Should be good. Dark and dirty. Smoked malt, three pounds. I think we're using beechwood. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's a decent sized grain bill. Mm-hmm. Um, well, let's get crushing, let's, man. Let's do it. Let's mill these grains. Mashing at 154 today. 154. Yep. Pump, Pump in. in. Pump in. Out. Pump out. And I get a lot of questions, Ross. If you look at the hoses, mm -hmm. obviously there's a lot of air in there. Yeah. And these are not self priming pumps, which is why we have the pump on the floor. Mm -hmm. So the liquid will push down. To prime your pump, the best thing to do is hook everything up like we had it, but then take it off your lid and then just hold it into your kettle until all the air is purged out. Pump on. And I'll open the ball valve because that's needed. Here. All right. So you can see now the line has no air in it blowing out mm -hmm. and then just simply turn off the pump pop your spray valve on and now you just have a little bit of air in the lines and it easily pumps it right through now you get your nice spray pattern and clean your pump and clean your pump clean your pump a one hour mash a roux mm -hmm. i'm just going to put an hour on my phone I'll put an hour on the clock if it's an hour three seconds it'll be okay bonus <laughs> so while that's happening I don't know. Dogs like porter. Oh yeah? In my experience, dogs like stouts and dogs like porter. Okay. So if you're giving a dog a beer. Give him something nice. You give him something nice. Usually lower. That's the, those lower alcohol by volume. I feel like porters in my mind are always a little higher than stouts. Yeah. Stouts you get those like dry. Like or low four percent. What are we shooting for? Do you think for our porter here? It's gonna be decent, uh, decent amount of grains. Yeah, smoke from grain. Y you kind of love it or you hate it. Um, it's sort of like peat uh, with like scotch right. and or the lack of that with your bourbons. Well, you can smoke pretty much smoke any anything. grain. <laughs> I'll smoke anything <laughs> once. Um, yeah. Uh, November, December, January, February. If you're pairing it with food, I think you'd want to match that flavor intensity. Um, something big. Uh, roast your meat and roast your grains. Smoke your meat, 
smoke Ooh. your grains. Smoking these meats here. We have just applied the sweet baby rays. Sweet baby rays. Maybe throw some sweet baby rays on the ribs and take it from there. I like our little chats here. Yeah, man. In the Saison video, we couldn't take a pH rating because our probe uh, broke. I'm assuming it happened when we moved. So I bought a new probe, but it looks like we settled in 5.3, which is perfect. We want to be between 5.2, 5.4. And if you're first getting into brewing, maybe brew a darker beer. It'll help buffer, get your pH without really having to screw around with it too much. So like I said, we didn't add anything to adjust the pH, just some brewing salts to kind of get our numbers where we wanted them. Kill the pump. Kill and... the pump, boom. Uh, off. And then I'll just pop the valve. Yeah, I'm gonna pop the lid open, let it soak down. Soak uh, down. Oh, is that soak down? And then close the ball valve. Pull the basket. Bring it to a boil. Get these standard, hooks in. Standard brew day. Not secure for what is, you're right there. Close the smaller. Mmm. I'm not getting a lot of smoke no. on this, but like a... who's to say? I'm getting that fresh baked bread, malty, yeah. mom's kitchen, mom's spaghetti. So we're just gonna bring it up to 100% of power. Uh huh. Start bringing our word up to a boil. And we'll let the basket drain, I don't know, 10 minutes, let all that sweet work come out. And then we'll put the lid on and get it to a boil. Yeah. Let's do it. Do it. Something like that, you get a little more. Yeah, more just a little more coming out. Bring it to a boil. You can save this brew, put it back in the kettle. Um, I calculated this brew day without saving it. I think we could all just sort of crowd in here and sort of cram and. And if I just crouched over you and didn't really assist in the process at all, I think that would really help you out. You hear that beeping? I hear that beeping. That's one of the nice features about our controller, Ross. Yeah. So Listen to that. Set the high alarm mm -hmm. for a little bit below boil. That way it'll alert you that you're close to a boil. So if you just hit the set button, that'll kill the, the beep. Bingo. And now we are really close to our boil. Oh yeah. And now we can kind of just hang around the kettle and once it's up to boil. Breathe it in. Make sure we don't boil mm -hmm. over, so. Rudy, I'll call you back here in a minute. So we got some Chinooks. Yeah. We're, that's gonna be our 60 minute bitter 60 egg edition. Minute, uh -huh. And then East Kent Goldings, I believe, is our 15 minute edition. Okay. So we're gonna do three quarters of an ounce of right. Chinook for our, our bittering edition. So Chinook, as I understand it, are actually like the progeny of Goldings hops. Okay. So like Golding hops are a traditional English hop rattle, and I think that you know lends itself to this porter that we're brewing English style beer, English hops. But then Chinook is sort of like the heartier sort of American hybrid uh, of traditional English Goldings. Okay, 0. 0.75. 0. 0.75. Yeah. Bingo. <laughs> Sixty minute edition of Chinook. Dude, they wow. this up. Look at that. Goldings. The Goldings, there we go. Yeah, 15 minutes, but we'll start chilling. Buckets okay. are tainted. Buckets are tainted. Log beer has infiltrated everything. Uh huh. So we're going to use one of our car plastic carboys. Great. We've built a time machine here. Look at it. It travels through time at the speed of time. Uh, that's all I've got on the subject. Power off. Water in. Water out. Water out. We're gonna create an open loop system from the bathroom to the backyard. Takes a village. Kettle out. Pump in. Tuckeroo. Tuckeroo. Valve open. 
pump on. Valve open. Pump on. Water on. There we go. An ounce of star sand. Then we'll take that waste water and fill up. Efficiency. Yeah, man. Now we're gonna chill, I don't know, mid 60s? Yeah. For men in mid 60s. For like 10 days. What's our temp at? 113. 113. We'll let it roll. That's steam room temp right there. Not room temp. What's hot tub temp? 114? Is like 104? Oh wow, 114 you'd be really hot. You'd I be guess. very hot in okay. a hot tub in that. Probably gonna be just a touch under 1070. Okay. Yeah. Oh gosh. There he goes. Rut ruh raggy. Rut ruh remit. Water off. Water off. Water off. Okay. Pump off. Don't forget to close your valve. Boop. Reopen valve. Pump on. Thanksgiving's in less than a week. Oh, dude. Yeah, I forgot a black. Okay. I gotta figure out black. I lost. Yeah. I feel like lost Blackout a month. Blackout Friday. I feel like I lost a month. Jesus. Cheers, Emmett. Porter for the holidays. Yeah. A bangerang smoked porter. Yeah. Creamy. Definitely creamy. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Full bodied. Milkshakey head. Very much so. Yeah. Can't see through it. Got it up to the cleat light right there. Yeah, remember we were talking about that during the brew day. We were gonna, it was gonna be mm -hmm. pretty darn dark. It's that SRM 500. Yeah, the and that SRM it, the black 300. Patent, I believe, that black yeah. patent. Yeah, that'll do it. <clears throat> so probably out of the porter style, maybe on the color, but I mean flavor wise, I think it's right on. I think we're right I think there. It's spot on. Yeah, that's 20% smoke malt. Yeah, which, just enough smoke. I mean, it definitely comes across. I think if you went a little lower, you might not even get it that much. I think the smoke and the bitterness go together really well. That, like, you get that bitter note, and then you get the smoke on top of it. Yeah. And it's just that's a dark nice. beer for a cold evening, man. Yeah, that's really nice. Beer of the day. Yeah. It is, I mean, one of these, it's a meal. Man. It's or it's dessert. Seven mm -hmm. point something percent. I mean, yeah. it's... <clears throat> It doesn't taste boozy. Mm -mm. I'm a fan, man. Great job. Yeah, you too, man. Skull. Skull. <laughs> Merry Christmas. And a Happy New Year. <laughs>